I'd like to welcome our next speaker, and he is Bob Brooks of Hilton Hotels and Resorts. Now, this is a speaker change from your handbook, which does say Christian Charnot of Hilton, but he had a conflict. So we're so pleased that Bob can join us. Bob is the Vice President for Global Culture and Strategic Initiatives for Hilton Hotels and Resorts. He oversees brand education for more than 180,000 employees uh, in over 550 hotels in 80 countries. Now, Bob is going to talk to us about this key issue of how you will establish and maintain a strong business brand. And by the way, Bob also volunteers in his spare time at animal rescue shelters, and you might like to know that he just saved a German shepherd puppy. So, <laughs> let's welcome Bob. Uh, thank you for that introduction, Laura. Uh, she's right. We did just rescue a German Shepherd puppy. My wife's uh, passion is animal rescue. When I left the house last night, we had three dogs and two cats. I have no idea when I get home tonight uh, how many more will be there. That's just part of the uh, excitement of living with someone whose passion is saving the less fortunate four-legged creatures uh, that uh, occupy our homes and uh, really become a part of our family. I want to thank Apex as well as IFSA for the opportunity to be here today. Uh, it's exciting for me primarily because I'm a person who logs a little more than 125,000 air miles a year, which means that traveling around the world to our hotels, I can't get my job done unless I first get on an airplane. And I would think that in many respects, you share that same situation in that when you travel, uh, you can't get it done without staying at a hotel somewhere around the world. So I feel like I'm talking to a lot of hotel guest experience experts this morning. So uh, I hope that my uh, comments uh, ring true with your experiences and some of your, your thinking around connecting uh, with the guest experience at a hotel. I've been in the hospitality business uh, well over 35 years. It's really the only business that uh, I've been in. The last 25 years I've spent with Hilton Worldwide, uh, a long way from my first job as a bartender at Pinnacle Peak Patio in Scottsdale, Arizona. Most of my experience has been in the field as a general manager or area vice president of hotel operations. The last five years I've spent with the Hilton brand with global culture and strategic initiatives and I can share with you these last five years dealing with the guest experience from the hotel perspective has been the most exciting and rewarding of my hotel career. So when you think about a strategic plan that you want to ex execute towards the guest or customer experience, and I'll use those words guest and customer interchangeably, I want you to think about what lies at the center, at the core of that great guest or customer experience. For us in our industry, that core at the center is our, our team members that emotional connection that they're able to make with, with guests and customers, and I would think you would agree with your hotel experiences and your travels that you've had. The biggest influence on team members and their ability to deliver a great guest experience comes from the culture or the environment in which they live in every day at the hotel. So a hotel's ability to create an environment that recognizes beliefs and behaviors, attitudes and actions that drive a guest experience is really the key job that all of us have in this industry. So today what I'd like to do is talk about how we have found and how we are following six key steps in our culture to make sure that we align it to improve and further move forward 
the guest experience, not only from a guest experience contact point of view, but add to its consistency and drive better customer loyalty. The particular journey we've been on the last three years within the Hilton Corporation is something we've never shared externally with an audience before. So you are going to hear it first, the work that we have identified and have been doing kind of under the covers, so to speak. Uh, I think it makes a great story, and uh, I'm anxious to share that with you. But speaking of our story, you'll have to go back to 1919, because that's really where the story begins, with a young entrepreneur who was on his way to buy a bank in Cisco, Texas, when circumstances changed, and instead he took the money that he had borrowed from family and friends and bought a 40-room fixer-upper hotel called the Mobley in Cisco, Texas. Well, during the oil boom in Cisco, Texas in 1919, business was good at the Mobley. And in fact, rooms were rented more by the hour or by an eight-hour shift than they were by the night. <clears throat> yeah, imagine that. Imagine turning over a hotel room three times in 24 hours. Well, this entrepreneur that I'm speaking of who made that venture that purchase was Conrad Hilton. And at that time in 1919, it was a gamble that created a seed well planted, to be sure. So let's fast forward 94 years to today. It's clearly been Conrad's vision, his unwavering commitment, and his bigger than life persona that allows him to remain really at the center of not only a legacy that has defined hospitality as an industry, but now boasts a company with 10 distinct brands, 4,000 hotels in over 96 countries worldwide. So <clears throat> when you ask anyone who was Conrad Hilton, very few people fail to answer that question correctly. Since Conrad's death in 1976. We've tried to keep that vision alive as far as his vision towards the guest experience. And in Conrad's words, that vision remains alive in Hilton Worldwide today. It's been and always will be our responsibility to fill the earth with the light and warmth of hospitality. Quite an aggressive vision, but one that uh, really warms the heart. So as all of us in our own way here today are striving to build a consistent delivery of that great customer experience, I think the real question on the table, it's certainly for us in our industry, is what tactics will we employ that create that environment in our far-flung global brands. And at Hilton, and I would share with you, within the industry, we firmly believe that a strong, aligned culture, those beliefs, behaviors, attitudes, and actions of our team members are clearly that driver. The question is, how do you get there, and how do you differentiate yourself from the crowded space that are that is hotel competitors. Well, we're not like we're not unlike any other hotel brand, and in fact, within Hilton Worldwide and our distinct ten brands, we have a senior leader much like myself, aligning their brand's distinct personality and their brand's culture with business strategies and business objectives. We really feel it's a critical component to join the two together, because it really demonstrates not just what we do, but what we stand for as a hotel, as a brand, and, and also as an industry. I want to use the Hilton Hotels and Resorts brand as a model for accomplishing this journey to a great guest experience. The Hilton brand is 
by far the most diversified and probably best recognized of all of our family of brands. So the Hilton brand boasts 550 hotels and resorts located in 79 countries worldwide with over 180,000 team members. And we've got 158 hotels in the global pipeline, particularly exploding in Asia Pacific. So in many ways, our business model towards, great, towards a great guest experience is much like yours. So as I share with you the work that we've been doing these past three years and the research that we've conducted, I think you'll find some similarities and hopefully find it relevant to some of the things you were doing or looking at in your business as well. The beginning of 2010, we took a big look at the Hilton brand, what I would call a deep dive into exactly what makes up the Hilton brand and how good we were really doing as far as delivering that guest experience. We had been growing at a tremendously fast rate in the prior decade, particularly as we accelerated our franchise growth. Then we purchased in, 19, in 2006, we purchased Hilton International. A lot of people don't know that 38 years ago, we sold Hilton International, all of our international hotels outside the Americas, we sold to TWA, an airline. And they have been operating as an independent company ever since, and in fact, have had several different owners during that period of time. So following that purchase, we then sold our company, Hilton Hotels Corporation, to the Blackstone Group in 2007. After that, our company was renamed Hilton Worldwide, and our corporate offices were, were relocated from Beverly Hills, California, to McLean, Virginia, and that itself was quite a paradigm shift. In addition to that, we introduced our new chief operating, uh, excuse me, our chief executive officer, Chris Nassetta. So you can imagine the amount of change that had gone on in our company, and it was time to assure Chris Nassetta that the Hilton brand was ready to lead through a culture and through a guest experience that he so adamantly and strongly advocated. So what, what did we do? Well, that year in 2010, we commissioned the largest guest and team member research product, project in the history of our company. Our mission was very simple, and I'm sharing it with you for the first time uh, as we're kind of pulling back the covers and letting you take an inside look of the work we've done over the last three years. So our goal was an all-inclusive look of the brand from all angles, from all perspectives, and all sides, looking at the good, the bad, and the ugly. The initiative was named H360, a shared vision of success, and it simply became known within our company as H360. And the insights that we gained in that year-long research from listening and learning to our customers and our team members really helped shape our strategic vision for the next five years and clearly allowed us to align those strategies against product, performance, services, innovations that we looked at towards the future, and certainly the guest experience as well as team member engagement. In short, I would share with you that after a year's work of traversing the globe, it was a real reality check for us. In some ways, you might say a real eye-opener. So we talked with and surveyed tens of thousands of commentaries, opinions, guests, team members, frequent travelers that were loyal to the Hilton brand and those that were loyal to other brands and other companies, trying to position us more relevantly, more engagingly, and trying to find a way to be innovative as well as well-positioned with a guest-focused customer service. So as we spent a large part of 2010 diversing the glo globe, visiting over 20 companies, 
excuse me, visiting over 20 countries and 60 cities. We simply listened and learned. So after going through all of that process, gathering up those, all those ideas, those barriers to delivering a great guest experience, getting everyone's feedback, we realized just how important it was to touch base with team members and customers as much as possible, and we found we needed to do more of that. We needed to do more listening to our customers and also to our team members. So we put processes in place to do that a lot more, and we keep doing it over and over again, lesson learned. There was one experience in particular that kept reoccurring as we sat down and talked with team members around the world. And in fact, this experience that kept happening to us kept reminding us why we got into the hospitality business to begin with. And that was our experience in sitting down with rooms of team members, sometimes rooms as large as this with 700 plus team members from regions around the world. And we kept hearing them talk about their extraordinary passion for serving others. It wasn't just what they did, it's how it identified them and why they were there to begin with. It was really an expression of their own personality. And we also found the amazing power team members have of not only delivering extraordinary guest experiences, but the ability to influence others who didn't have as much passion to do just that, deliver extraordinary guest experiences. So we would come back from these, from these trips around the world. I was looking at your uh, marquee out, out in the front uh, regarding the Passenger Choice Awards. And uh, as I was looking down the airline list, uh, I've been on just about every one of those airlines. Uh, so as we kept listening to our team members, no matter where we went, uh, we always heard and thought about how could we just bottle up this energy that our team members have? How do we better define it? How do we better repackage it and consistently spread it across the globe of our 180,000 plus team members? Because we knew if we could do that, we could differentiate ourselves as a brand and we can literally start a revolution within our own company. So before I tell you how we did that and what that led us to with our six steps, I do want to share with you that it wasn't all positive. We heard about roadblocks, we heard about barriers that they faced and things that they wanted to change. And I think that probably put us more on the path to true north than anything else. And there were probably five things, five messages that no matter where we were, Asia Pacific, the Middle East, Europe or the United States, we found that it followed into five buckets. One, they wanted a better way to share their own ideas because they felt that with their knowledge, being on the front line, they had ideas that we weren't listening to and how to better create and increase a guest experience. Secondly, they wanted to be more empowered to solve guest needs and to solve guest problems. They felt that they were not enabled to be empowered to do that. They also wanted to be part of, a, of, their, of their community in a bigger way. They wanted to serve their communities through a global cause and Hilton at the time, the brand, did not have a channel or an avenue for them to do that. And they wanted the ability to connect and learn from team members around the world. In other words, they wanted to be part of something bigger than just their hotel. I can imagine that some of these findings, you might be able to think, ah, I've heard those same things from, from our company, or maybe those same things from our team members. So I wouldn't be surprised that some of this feedback isn't new to you. So we set out to find solutions to each and every one of them, and I wanna point out exactly how we went about that over the last two years. And along the way, in solving this, we found an amazing new way to leverage technology, something Dean talked about, 
just earlier. But we found a way to leverage technology to be part of that solution, and I want to share with you a little bit later how we've done that. So, getting back to our research regarding cu culture and the guest experience, uh, after all that was done, it confirmed our hypothesis before we started the research. Hilton Hotels lacked a common global culture that bonded hotels and team members across communities, countries, and continents. Yeah, so think about it. Here you have Hilton, a brand with the widest global reach of all global brands, a brand with the highest global recognition of all brands in the hotel business, a brand that's literally synonymous with the word hospitality, but but we needed to be better suited to deliver on a competitive advantage that an aligned and inspiring culture that touches team members and guests alike and, and how that can drive the guest experience. That for us was uh, something we suspected but a sobering finding against all the research and the facts. We thought long and hard about it because we knew that culture can be the most potent and probably the hardest to replicate as far as becoming a source of competitive advantage. Particularly in our industry, it's the experience, the touch point you have with our team members that oftentimes makes the difference. We knew that the right culture aligned with strategy, execution, product, services, we knew that was the key to the guest experience. So, culture, it can be an accelerator. It can really be an accelerator to, to, to all the initiatives. Whether you look at revenue build, whether you look at cost control, it's, uh, it's key. And it also creates advocates. It creates advocates and evangelists, real fans with team members and guests. And in turn, those real fans, what do they do? Well, they become zealots. They become zealots for all that the brand stands for, for what it communicates, and ultimately what you want to act, actually execute and activate as a brand. So, a year's worth of research, tens of thousands of surveys, interviews, millions of miles traveled around the globe by our brand leadership team, and where did it take us? Well, it took us to the birth of Blue Energy. What's Blue Energy? Well, we gave our culture a name. We wanted to give it a name that connected easily with team members, that, wanted, that we wanted to make them feel like they owned it, and so we did define that culture. It's clearly the common thread that is woven to the fabric of our brand for not only team members, but guests and communities alike everywhere we live and work. So, how do we come up with blue energy? Uh, well, it's translated very well global, globally, by the way. Blue was our corporate color for decades. That was kind of easy. And we kept going back to that that idea of bottling this energy from our team members. When we went around the world, we kept hearing them use the word energy, so we used it, really stole it from our team members. Blue energy is comprised of three distinct elements that team members can grab a hold of. First and foremost, it's living our values, and we followed our Hilton Worldwide values and rolled those out to our team members because that's the foundation of all their actions, their beliefs, and their behaviors. So our values simply are hospitality, the business that we are in, the integrity that, the integrity that they have to exhibit in their jobs, the fact that they're all leaders at one level or the other, the importance of teamwork, the importance of owning the guest experience themselves and the immediacy of now. If there's an issue, if there's a need for a guest, solve it and solve it now. 
So if the values were our foundation, the real driver becomes delivering our brand promise. And in fact, let me share with you, if team members would forget everything they learned from day one, if they forgot everything they knew about the hospitality business, but they remembered one thing, our brand promise, to ensure every guest feels cared for, valued, and respected, I would almost guarantee you that the guest experience that they would deliver would be right on target. Because how often have you been in a hotel and you've had a team member encounter, how often did you really feel cared for, valued, and respected? And thirdly, the component that's a lot of fun for our team members around the world is celebrating our stories of success. A hotel has literally hundreds of stories every day of how we are, we are approaching and delivering a guest experience. And we wanted to find a way to socialize those stories, not only across a hotel, but across the globe with our team members. So that's blue energy. So you might ask the same question we ask ourselves. We're a brand with a 94-year legacy. We've gone through some pretty dramatic transformations in the last 10 years. Just how long does an established company take to change or rebuild a global culture? Well, the experts that we talked with, they cautioned us. They said, hey, it takes time and you've got to have patience. Particularly if you're going to sustain a global culture across 90 countries around the world. They said it took us, would take us between five and 10 years. So today, we're two years, two and a half years into Blue Energy. Uh, two and a half years into our cultural relaunch. And along the way, we found what we think is a successful strategy that we're following to stay the course, to reach our goal of a strong global culture before that five or 10 year mark. Many of you are staying at the uh, Anaheim Hilton. You tell me, how close are we to accomplishing that great guest experience through engaged team members that have rallied around Blue Energy? Well, they're following six steps that we've outlined for all of our hotels and team members, and I want to share that with you. Uh, and again, this is work we've done for the last two and a half years. This is the first time I've ever shared it externally with, with an audience. One, and we've talked a lot about it, and that's define and deliver your brand promise. But the, here's the key. Define your brand promise to every guest every time. The promise must align both emotionally and strategically with your company values and be delivered consistently each and every time, to really earn the trust and loyalty from your customers. We're working hard at that. We're not there yet, but that's our goal. Deliver the brand promise to each and every guest. Secondly, it's so important to socialize your beliefs, your behavior, and your values uh, at all levels of the organization. What that simply means is you need to tell the story over and over and over again, and then, and then you need to tell it some more. It's so important that company leaders must talk about it, must message it, and must believe in it. Third, how do you give team members tools to engage and live the culture? And these tools have to be easy to use, they clearly have to support your promise and also those behaviors that you want to become a way of life for your team members. So for us, these tools fell in three areas and had a lot to do with the feedback we got from our guests as we traveled the world. One, something we just launched this year, our brand-wide commitment to our guests. It's called Make It Right. Simply put, for the first time, the global brand has said, if you are not satisfied with your stay, 
let us know and we'll make it right. If you're not satisfied with, side, not satisfied with your stay, let us know, we'll make it right. Boy, did we get a lot of head scratching from general managers saying, wait a minute, you mean I'm gonna have to give away the store? It really was our expression of empowerment at the team member level, what they were asking for, to resolve guest problems, meet unanticipated needs, and to honor our most loyal guest. In fact, our research showed us that guests today define exemplary service as a team member's ability to solve their problem or meet their unanticipated needs at the first point of contact, which led us to thinking about all the hotel stories where if you had a problem, the team member said, well, just a minute, I'll be right back with you. And they went back behind the magic door to talk to some manager to get some answer, only to have the team member reappear again, not the manager, only to have the team member reappear again and maybe or maybe not solve your problem. All the time you're wondering what's going on and why it's taking so long. Uh, the next tool really was around our team members wish and ask to be part of a global cause because it wasn't possible. Not that our hotels weren't involved in global community causes, but from a brand perspective, we weren't involved until we launched Bright Blue Futures, which is our signature cause that was launched in Davos, Switzerland in 2012 at the Global Economic Forum by our Chief Executive Officer, Chris Nassetta. It offers stability and hope to youth in every community where we live and work. So imagine 150,000 team members as a powerful volunteer force that can accelerate change in the lives of our most valuable asset worldwide, today's youth. We felt this was a great demonstration of sharing our brand promise outside the four walls of our hotels. So we're ensuring that our communities are cared for, valued, and respected. And finally, the last tool we put in place as a result of listening to our team members was giving them a larger role and responsibility that connects culture to business objectives, giving them that bigger voice that they ask for. The only way we could do that within the hotels across 90 countries and 550 hotels was to actually give them the opportunities to form blue energy committees. Not made up of hotel executives, but made up of line team members. Now the general manager becomes the mentor for the group, but the committee is made up of clearly only, time, only line members from every department in the hotel. And their focus to align with business, obje business objectives in, in areas of guest experience, team member engagement, community service, and uh, sustainability. So I would tell you after putting those in place two years ago, today over 13,000 team members serve on a Blue Energy Committee worldwide, and that is a very powerful force. They are clearly our zealots and our advocates for our culture. Fourth, uh, you need to recognize and reward beliefs and behaviors that support your vision and your promise. Uh, rewards and recognition are so important and we found we weren't doing enough. Recognition is contagious. It clearly can, can influence team member behavior. So we put a whole process together for that for every hotel within our system. We also found that team members want to know what the score is. They want defined measures and metrics for, for success because they want to know how they're doing and they want to be challenged and they want to meet that challenge. So as a result, we've set guest satisfaction scores, loyalty scores, problem resolution scores, and honors service delivery, which is our frequent flyer program, our honors program for our most loyal guests. And we share those scores worldwide with all the hotels. They know where they rank, and we help those requiring assistance and those needing improvements, but at the end of the day, they all look to how they can, how they can increase those engagement scores. So from our global head to our general managers, uh, 
to our leaders in the hotel, the number six, the most probably important attribute is you've got to lead it and you've got to live it. Leaders at all levels need to leave with blue energy. Uh, they need to leave it, they need to live it through their own behaviors and their own beliefs. If they don't feel that passion of blue energy from their general manager, uh, they'll make only half the progress of hotels who have highly engaged general managers and highly engaged leaders for one simple reason. Team members know when our leaders are faking it. So, two years into it, I can share with you that uh, we're happy. We're happy where we are. We've se seen some impressive results. In, in two years. In fact, at the end of 2012, we recorded the highest satisfaction and loyalty scores from our guest surveys compared to the last decade within our brand. We're also finding that recruiting the best of the best and retaining the best of the best is being improved through our blue energy and our activation and engagement tools with our team members. By using, during the interview process, an introduction to Blue Energy and how each team member plays a part in it is really making a difference and feeling like they have a, a, a larger purpose by joining our brand as opposed to a competitor's. Earlier I said something about accelerating technology and I, I would I'd want to share with you that we probably found the greatest accelerator for Blue Energy through the ability to leverage technology in a way to form an online global community. Uh, this particular online global community that has access to all, to all of our team members has really launched our culture on a scale that we've never before experienced by, uh, by any of our brands, as a matter of fact. So today, Team members and executives around the world are participating in this global community, sharing best practices, ideas, videos, photos, and comments. It's really connecting them in an unprecedented way across the globe. So a bellman in Barcelona can actually talk with and engage in best practice ideas with a bellman in Boston. So it's, it gives us the ability for 150,000 team members from 550 hotels in 82 countries to recognize and show their passion of blue energy uh, through this global online community. So we've taken this first of its kind in the industry and we've really tried to deliver something that is that really belongs to the team members. In fact, 12 and a half, year to date, 12 and a half million page views uh, on the website. 98% of all the content is customer, is, is team member generated. So the only way I can really show you how it works is to give you a sample. And frankly, all that I've shared with you today uh, really will come alive with you as you watch this particular video through the eyes and the ears of our team members. So what we're about to show you is what we call a day in the life of their online H360 community and how they're driving performance, how they're driving higher levels of the guest experience. Uh, and so uh, let's take a look at uh, H360. In 2011, Hilton Hotels and Resorts launched an unprecedented online effort, a portal for every team member worldwide to engage with the brand, to contribute ideas, solutions, and best practices. A place where the spirit of blue energy is ignited every day, sharing how we live our values, deliver our promise, and celebrate our stories. 
to connect with each other and leaders around the world, creating a shared vision for success. <music> 7 a.m., the beginning of a new day, and the opening day of the Hilton Guangzhou Tianhe in China's third largest city. The morning's photos and comments uploaded by the hotel's new Blue Energy Committee show that the Blue Energy passion is already alive here, ready to meet guests. Every Hilton hotel in every region of the world has brought their property teams together through Blue Energy launch celebrations in a powerful expression of their commitment to a global Blue Energy culture. 8.30 a.m. at the Hilton London Green Park Hotel, a new post about a successful breakfast promotion captures the eye of a Hilton Worldwide Senior Area Director who congratulates the London team and spreads the idea to managers in the Middle East and Africa. Thousands of ideas and best practices have been shared on the H360 website, inspiring hotel teams worldwide to implement innovations that increase revenues and elevate the guest experience. 11 a.m. Hilton Pyramids Golf Resort, Egypt. A training program for local youth is in full swing. English language classes, skill training, internships, and mentorships. A blog and photos are posted, inspiring team members all over the world. Across all Hilton hotels and resorts, our signature cause, Bright Blue Futures, provides stability and hope to youth in every community where we live and work. It's 3 p.m., Washington, D.C., and comments are flying in from the U.S., Asia, and the Middle East in response to an effective new SALT reporting and tracking tool developed by the Washington Hilton. Almost every commenter downloads a copy of the template to use at their hotel. On H360, information becomes power. 5 p.m., the Beverly Hilton Hotel. The H360 community votes for their own rock stars, talented team members from around the globe. The grand prize? A trip to the 54th Annual Grammy Awards. Blue energy brought to life in song and cheers. The magic of the sunset from the Hilton Maldives Beach. As the sun goes down, the world of Hilton prepares for a global event. 8.30 p.m. and the world of Hilton is embracing Earth Hour, Hundreds of our hotels unite to join millions around the world in the largest environmental event in history. For months, excitement has been building as hotels shared their plans and exchanged ideas across the world. The contagious excitement of Blue Energy is unstoppable, and the H360 global community is more than a website. It's an inspirational portal, a front door wide open motivating tens of thousands to live our values, deliver our promise, and celebrate our stories. Living blue energy every day, distinguishing our brand in the eyes of our guests, driving improved performance, building Hilton's future together. You can feel it happening in real time on the H360 website. One culture in every Hilton around the world, celebrating the energy of the Hilton brand, becoming one, filling the earth with the light and warmth of hospitality. One brand, one vision, one culture. As you know, there, there's a lot of moving parts and pieces to the guest experience. Uh, but in the hospitality business, in the hotel and resort business, we'll continue to think that it falls in the center with the team member commitment and the team member engagement that makes that emotional connection with each and every one of our guests. My goal, my hope uh, for each and every one of you is kind of simple. It's coming up. 
No matter where you travel in the world, no matter what hotel you choose to enter, you'll feel and experience our blue energy, the passion we have for living our values, delivering our promise, and celebrating our stories. These are our team members who genuinely and generously are creating great guest experiences with a heartfelt passion they call Blue Energy. I invite you to join me and experience it. Thank you very much. Uh, have a great day. Thank you, Bob. That was great. Many thanks.